It's a tricky question because we've got, we've got a great example, a negative example, of an objectivist who was captured by the system. Uh, and that is, uh, for those of you who know, that is Alan Greenspan, um, who I think is, is uh, proof that power corrupts and that absolute power, which you certainly have as Federal Reserve Chairman, corrupts absolutely. Um, I, I think Alan Greenspan was corrupted by the system. He was corrupted by power, by, by the know, by the, the, uh, the, he cared more about the kind of people he mingled with in the parties and people's attitude towards him than about the truth. And I, and I think that completely corrupted his ability. So, I guess it depends. Uh, if you're an Alan Greenspan, don't go into politics, you only give us a bad name. Um, <laughs> if, if you have integrity, which I don't think Alan does, if you're a person of integrity, I don't think you have to be corrupted. Uh, the question really is, is what can you do? What is the best way to change the world? Uh, and I think we're going to need politicians. Uh, whether it's now or down the road, they're going to have to be objective politicians. They're going to have to be people who stand up on principle and, and oppose things on principle and are not willing to cut deals. But you have to realize that if you go into politics, under that guy's first of all, it's going to be tough to get elected. Uh, second, you know, you're going to make a lot of enemies. You're not going to be a popular guy. You're just, you know, people are not going to like you. And you have to be able to have the, you know, the backbone to, to stand up to that. Because, you know, if you believe in principles, then it's not just about the less of two evils. It's not just about getting the best compromise you can. It's about, and I think we're at the stage where we need people who say, no, we're not going to support this even if it's better than alternative.